Hello, today we embark on an exciting journey back in time to explore the sitcom Red. I'm sure many of you have fond memories of this classic show. Red is a timeless gem that has left an indelible mark on television history. Join us as we relive the magic, revisiting those with the entire cast of then and now. We will explore the names and initial ages of the talented actors on the show and witness their transformation in 2024. So without further ado, let's dive into the world of Brad. Brian Murray was born in 1949 in the sitcom he plays Shifty Boswell. In 1988, when he was in the sitcom, he was 39 and now he's 74. In my bed and you wouldn't notice. <laughs> what we need, Grandad, is a couple of beautiful ladies to look after us. Women don't look after you anymore. Those days are gone. You've aged very well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Has it been cold under those slats? Ah, well, very, very cold. Oh, really? <laughs> well, they phoned up and said, you know, Anna's on. Would you fancy coming on and say hello? I said, oh, got it. Jonathan Morris was born in 1960 in the sitcom he plays Adrian Boswell. In 1986, when he was in the sitcom, he was 26 and now he's 63. <laughs> the thing is, we wondered. I wondered. Back to do uh, Panto. Well, I've been away a long time. I only come back because I'd heard you'd been born. Really? I thought I'd come and meet oh, you. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm flat. Melanie Hill was born in 1962. In the sitcom, she plays Avalyn Boswell. In 1989, when she was in the sitcom, she was 27 years old, and now she's 62. Do normal life now, please. So you'll have to live here permanently now, Dad, being as you've got nowhere else to go. Isn't that smashing? <laughs> oh, it's great. Funny, isn't it? How catastrophe can... and annoyed with him that he's let me down and, and in turn let Roy down because he's been so kind. So um, I think you're a bit more scared of me than Roy, aren't you? Well, yeah. I'm... Jean Bolt was born in 1932. In the sitcom, she plays Nellie Boswell. In 1986, when she was in the sitcom, she was 54. And sadly, she passed away on September 12, 2023, at the age of 91. I don't mind you being normal, Billy. I don't mind you tasting the wine of life. It's when you're becoming an alcoholic I start to worry. <laughs> we need you to pull your weight, son. Talking about, you know, the affairs, the sex, the drugs. Well, yeah, because, I mean, kids never think their parents do anything. Do it. Do they? <laughs> <laughs> they don't do it, do that. No, no, no only the one. Victor McGuire was born in 1964. In the sitcom, he plays Jack Butswell. In 1986, when he was in the sitcom, he was 22, and now he's 60 years old. You won't have any other parts of the way he's going on. All that banging and blowing. <laughs> You've seen what happens to the Uber bag. He's young, he can take it. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing, isn't it? Sticking around. I think it still stands up well. Very well for Yeah. I've not seen it for a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. Simon Rose was born in 1951. In the sitcom he played Yuzo's Maid. In 1986, when he was in the sitcom, he was 35, and now he's 72. He hasn't got a job. <laughs> he's in antiques. <laughs> We're all in antiques, aren't we, Yuzo? Yeah, all of us. It's just that we're looking for a show. Mr. Mac, McIntyre. That's right, yeah. That's right. He's my boss, Mr. Happer. We've only been rehearsing for five weeks. Yes, this is si Simon? Yeah, that's right. Simon, yeah. Simon, Simon, perhaps. Well, we'll have... Giles Watling was born in 1953. In the sitcom, he plays Oswald. In 1988, when he was in the sitcom, he was 35 years old, and now he's 71. Power. Man's libido is all mixed up with his pride. Man likes to see himself as the great... The getter of life. He is. You are. Man it does. I mean, it, it, delivering one's maiden speech is a different experience to any other speech you'll ever make in the in the chamber. It was a moment of pure theatre. Peter Howitt was born in 1957 in the sitcom he played Joey Boswell. In 1986, when he was in the sitcom, he was 29 and now he's 66. Some of us are patient with our fellow men, and some aren't. And if you beep your horn again, sunshine, I'll put a gob on you like a rubber duck. <laughs> Nick Conway was born in 1962. In the sitcom, he plays Billy Boswell. In 1986, when he was in the sitcom, he was 24 years old, and now he's 61. The way you talk about my mum and dad, Julie, they're good people. Mm, all that, and they don't even live together. Yeah, because they fell out, that's why. That can happen to anyone. Yeah, your mum... 
Deborah Grant was born in 1947 in the sitcom she plays Leonora Campbell. In 1990, when she was in the sitcom, she was 43 years old, and now she's 77. You should have bought those lampposts, Jack. I've got to do something, haven't I? It's making money. I earn enough money. Kenneth Waller was born in 1927 in the sitcom he plays Granddad. In 1986, when he was in the sitcom, he was 59, and sadly he passed away on January 28, 2000, at 72. All night waiting for me breakfast. You need a magnifying glass to see that supper last night. It's me, Granddad. Mm. I'm going to Manchester to do me mom. Eileen Pollock was born in 1947 in the sitcom she played Lilo Lil. In 1987, when she was in the sitcom, she was 40 years old, and sadly she passed away on December 19, 2020, at the age of 73. So old enough and wise enough to know that I can't win. Uh, for a while, perhaps. But roots go deep. Leaves spread. Ronald Farfar was born in 1939 in the sitcom he plays Freddy Boswell. In 1986, when he was in the sitcom, he was 47, and sadly he passed away on September 28, 2020, at the age of 81. Talking poetic, you can put them down. I believe I'm going to become a grandfather. When we reflect on the incredible journey of bread that took place between 1986 and 1991, Witnessing their growth and transformation, we can see that the connection from those years left a lasting legacy. Their story continues to resonate with fans around the world. And as always, show some love, hit the like button, subscribe for more, and hit the bell to never miss my new content.